right guys, in this video we are going to do a species profile on my Jaguar cichlids. That's because I've been asked quite a lot of questions about this fish in the last few months, so I thought I'd do a care guide and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to film it from the start of a spawn, so from preparing the pot until the end of the process when we've got free swimmers. So we're going to go through that period of breeding and we're going to do some fantastic facts about this fish, share a bit of my opinions. If you're considering buying this fish, I hope this will help. So let's get straight into it. So this is the Paracromus manawens and the common name is the Jaguar cichlid. So the reason I'm doing this is because I get quite a lot of interest, a lot of questions around this species and you can understand why because it's a phenomenal species to keep but I think that it's important that we know what it is we're buying from the long term point of view on certain species and certain fish so I thought you know what if I can help somebody and share some facts and some of my experience then I've done my bit haven't I so what are the facts around this unreal species? So they originate from Central America, Honduras, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and they are part of the Paracromus family. Others in the Paracromus family are the Dovi cichlid, the Red Tiger motor, the Multifasciatus, and the Frederick Stalli. Now, when it comes to size for the Jaguar cichlid, I mean, in the wild, these fish are going to get up to 20 inches to 2 feet, but in captivity, they don't grow as big, although they do get very big. They can top out at sizes of 18 inches, which is the, you know, it's probably rarely they get to that size, but you are looking at, a, at 16 inches for a male Jaguar cichlid. So that comes down to tank size, and I mean tank size is, is an opinion, but my opinion with tank size for one of these is full grown male or full grown pair, I would probably say six foot by two foot by two foot, and I think that's a great size tank for these fish. Now mine at the moment are in a five foot by 18 by two foot, and they're going to get a long time out of that tank, but I think eventually I will have to upgrade to a six by two by two. When it comes to tank mates for this fish, if you look at some of my old videos, I did have a Jaguar cichlid and a pair of Jaguar cichlids that I had in a community for a, a very, very long time and I never had a problem. But I think that's a rarity. Most of the time, these, this species can be a very aggressive species. So I would advise, and again, this is my opinion, that you would keep these as a pair or just one fish on their own also with these fish as well is they do breed on a regular basis now what i would say is this is why i'm doing the video in the in the way i'm doing it you will see by the end of this video just how much many young they have as well so another reason why you need a big tank quickly going into water parameters pH around 7.5, temperature, they can withstand quite a decent temperature, so anything from about 73 up to 80, 82, so they're quite, they are a really hardy fish, and i found in my experience with this species that they can put up with quite a lot, they are a hard fish. When it comes to the diet, they are a carnivorous fish, so they do like a meaty diet. What I do is I tend to feed them nothing because it's got such a spread of ingredients but I also feed them the Akari cichlid gold not a favorite of mine but these fish love it a lot of American cichlids love it and they get the odd muscle or bit of live food and yeah that's that they do like a meaty carnivorous diet to be fair you are going to get about 15 years out of this species or should I say up to 15 years so be in it for the long run because they're going to give you a lot of fun because the personality and their attitude is fantastic. This is one of my favourite species that I've ever kept and it's a fish that when I changed to Central Americans was one of the first that I got. I just love the attitude. I love 
the personality and they are a great wet pet now in this video i did mention that i was going to do it from a point of view of from start to finish for a spawn and i will date to show you just how long it takes for from day one like which is which is now this is the first day i noticed that they had started cleaning the pot so basically what they're doing in this video is they're creating an area where they're about to lay their spawn. So they're cleaning the rock, they're cleaning the pot, and they are about to lay, I always say thousands of eggs. And believe me, I reckon it's got to be over a thousand eggs that this fish is going to do. So at this point, this is 24 hours later, and they are laying, they are laying their eggs. So I will get closer to the, the pot and show you. That they have laid their eggs now the female will go in the pot lay some eggs and then the, the male follows her to fertilize the eggs now i did say on an earlier video that this pot wasn't big enough and i will show you in a minute just to show you what happened because i didn't have a big enough pot because the male is just too big for the pot so he did he did miss a lot of eggs with his with his uh, fertilization but as you'll see at the end of this video, he, we still have thousands of eggs. It's unreal. So yeah, he will follow her in. And then this is a few days later. And like I said, I will put the dates on the top of the screen so you know and you can see the different time, time zones between the whole thing. But there was a lot of spawn that had gone off. And what they did was, this was amazing. They collected all the off spawn, put it in a pile and then put the wigglers on top of that which i thought was amazing it was great to see so yeah and then obviously a few more days after that and again i'll put the dates on we got to free swimmers and there are absolutely loads in this tank and when you consider the amount that went off it's unreal honestly and this is the amount of babies that they have now i don't grow these out religiously and I've said a million times why I don't. I just don't think it's easy to get rid of them. They are tank busters, so it wouldn't be responsible of me to do that. But if any of my subscribers want me to grow them out and you have the relevant size tank to house this fish, I don't mind doing that. I will grow some out. I have promised a couple of people already, so you will get to see me grow some of these out. But check out the amount of fish, the amount of baby fish, fry, whatever you want to call them, in that tank. There is thousands of them and i've not counted them so that is just a rough estimate but yeah it's absolutely phenomenal anyway guys i'm going to call it a day on this video i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for your support and i will see you all on the next one